Hello, welcome to Mini's Keepsakes. I'm Arnell. I am back with the 100 day project and we are on day 91. It's a double pocket policy envelope. And again, a very easy um, project. I made them in different sizes and we'll make more in different sizes. So the policy envelope is this policy closure and I made the other one with a different closure so you can see you don't have to do a policy closure and you'll have two pockets here pocket here and then a pocket here and then this will just glue onto your page like this and you can glue it on three times and then even have a pocket in the back and then this can open and have more tags and journey cards in there or this I think is a perfect pocket as well to send happy mail in especially these bigger ones they will definitely fit into a journal uh, as well but I would probably paper clip them on this way and not this way this one I just closed with a sorry silk ribbon and it has the two pockets and you can see you, you'll even you can even have some journaling spots in there if you want extra spot to write so let's show you how I made these and I'll just um, use this one um, so this one is just half of a regular copy size paper so um, eight and a half by eleven and I just cut it in half and so all you need to do is fold a pocket on your bottom pocket and then flip this over for the top pocket the top flap and this one is so pretty I don't think I'm, I'll glue this one in this one I'll probably just add a paper clip in there and then for the pocket I'll just use this scrap piece of paper and I folded mine over this might be too small let's grab another one I folded mine over this is just glue book page so another great thing to use your glue book pages for and I glued mine together just to strengthen the book page because it will be a pocket and things needs to come in and out of there that's why I folded mine over and then over there and then this will be your pocket and I just need to cut it down slightly okay. and then you will glue your book page down the book page I'm just going to glue the two ends I don't think you need to glue the bottom one unless you want to add small pieces of ephemera in there and you want them to stick out but this can go through all the way to the bottom so bigger things can go in there and then this and that is your envelope so I did um, around my corners for the flap you don't have to do that but you can or you can use those de decorative edge bunches and decorate that more so now we need to make the policy closure and that's probably the most work for this pocket and I like the way Tina makes them so what I usually do is I punch out a bunch of one inch circle punches just sit another thing you can do in front of the TV if people watching with you don't mind the punching sound and then 
So I just mass make a bunch of these for policy closures usually, but I'll show you how. So you'll take two circles, put them um, on top of each other, and I just press a hole through both. Then add your brad through both circles. And then, so we'll just do the one, you'll need two of these. We'll just do it once more. It's simple, but so press the circle through both, or oh, the hole through both circles, and open your brad. Okay, we might need more. Let's see. And then all you need to do is for this, I like to use my hot glue gun just because there's the brad on the back um, causes some thickness there and if you use a hot glue gun and press it down really well it just shapes around that um, lifted piece from due to the brad and just keeps everything together. I'm not sure if the wet glue will the wet glue will, will hold the circle I think but you might have the texture or the bumpiness on the back. Here with the hot glue it kind of fills in around that brad, little legs of the brad. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, and then that is your policy closure, and you will tie a knot here. Use some string. Baker's twine is beautiful with this. You can tie it twice. I just tie it once. If it comes undone, you can always add, tie it again. And then you have to get the, the twine in between those two circles. That's why you didn't glue the top circle down. And just go in in kind of an eight shape as many times as you want. And you can leave this string wherever you want. And then you are ready to decorate your, what did Tina call it? Your double pocket policy envelope. So that is about it and it is easy and fast and versatile and we'll make a couple of different sizes let's make one that's half a uh, copy paper size and let me just see if I have more of those papers that I've used so this size, as you can see, it was the same kind of paper. It was one sheet of copy paper, A4, like 11 by eight and a half. Don't know what it is in the UK, but it's pretty close, the same measurements. And I just cut this in half and the, you know, this way, horizontally cut it in half. Let's make one and see the size differences where we're cutting one in half lengthwise. So this is eight. Oh, I cut the border off. So let's just, this one is seven and three quarters. So let's cut it down to four. Let's do one, four and a half and the rest for the other one. Something like that. So it's kind of cut in half lengthwise instead of widthwise. So let's make one with this. And I think we can make a little bit of a deeper pocket for this one, the bottom pocket. And then that would be the flap. Okay. We'll round the corners for this one as well. Get some book page glue the book page together all 
I'll just cut that piece off because it has glue on it. Whoops. And I do not want it to glue my pocket shut. Okay. And then this. We'll cut to size. Okay. And then this we just need to glue. And as you can see, I didn't even take the the book page all the way to the bottom. You can definitely do that, but I don't even think it's necessary. So I just make sure that the lower edge of my book page, the bottom pocket will cover that. And there you go. Your pocket is done. And now we have to do the policy envelope. And because I've done mass make this, you'll see it goes so much faster. Sometimes if you sit down and make, you know, you have a certain project in mind and you can finish some of the embellishments or some of the elements beforehand, then making these just becomes fast and easy. And that is the whole concept of mass making is to make your life easier. Okay, and then we'll just get some string. And like I say, baker's twine would be pretty if you have a thin ribbon that you can add to the circles that would add a nice touch or if you can cut your sari silk down thin enough um, embroidery floss would be nice just you can even double up on the embroidery embroidery floss or I have here a thinner kind of um, yarn don't know what kind of yarn this is bonsai it doesn't say anything other than that but something like that would look nice too just something different I'll cut this off of course if you don't want the policy envelope the sari silk ribbon you can just tie a bow on top as well that's another option you do not have to do the policy closure so let's mass make some of these we have this one already cut so let's cut a couple more and I'm still working through all of these that I've I don't know why I printed so many of this specific one must have been for some some project and I'm um, this is from took September blue kit and which way shall we do this one this way Okay, just gonna cut a tad bit off here, just so it's shorter than my book. And this one we can make a full page as well. Let's cut this one in half. That's how I did that first one. Let's do this one in half as well. What's the measurements on this one? So it's 11, so I can do five and a half. Then that would be halfway. And shall we do another one? Five and a half. No, that's not five and a half, it's six and a half. I was thinking that's not the same. And maybe do this one a full page. And then we can do book pages. We can just do them on the fly, I'm thinking. You can always, if you don't want to use book pages, you can always obviously use printed paper for that second um, pocket as well. You don't have to use book pages. I just like the way it looks. Okay, and I'm thinking I'll make all of these 
policy envelopes. Why not? Okay. And I think these will be great for happy mail for sure. I love this kit. It's probably my favorite kit at the moment. I'm totally into blue. Uh, and that kit is just has everything that I like in one kit. Again, these do not line up. Those edges line up, so I am thinking I must be doing something wrong with my cutter. And these little cutters aren't the most reliable. I have a big cutter, but it's just easier to work with that size cutter when I am recording a video because it's easy to pick up and take out of frame rather than having the big one sitting here on my desk all the time. Anyway, we can clean it up. There's no problem with that. I'm wondering, this one has a little tear. Let's do it this way. Then maybe I can even cut that tear off and pretend I wanted a decorative edge there for my We'll see if the corner rounder takes that out. Anyway, so yes, another cloudy but beautiful day here. I did manage to finally, I usually have herbs on my porch in smaller containers because it's close to my kitchen. My kitchen do not get enough sunlight for the herbs so I have them just off the porch from my kitchen and I finally managed to transplant them last night oh my I mean we're almost into June okay so I will round the corners but you know eventually everything gets done let's see if I round this corner no it doesn't take that tear away so let's just make it we are going to make like a faux envelope opening for that one yes it should be okay Yeah, at least we'll have fresh herbs in the summer close by and I was lucky. I usually plant, I like mint, but I like a specific mint. It's called mojito mint. I just love the smell of it and the taste of it. So I couldn't find any last year. This year I was lucky to find some, so I bought two plants. And um, I'm hoping to try and see if I can keep them alive maybe through the winter this year just in case I can't find it again. There's so many different kinds of herbs like a licorice herb, a uh, mint, I don't like the licorice one for sure. Not my favorite. Anyway, so let's do Let's do the little ones for the um, book pages first. And I'm just going to use my glue, glue book again. We'll do this and oh, that's too small. Oh, that one looks terrible. This one I might be able to do that. Yes. Okay, I need 
need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have one, two. an extra one just in case okay and then we're going to glue that actually shut our irrigation off because at the moment we don't need it. The plants are happy because they're not thirsty and the grass, you can see the grass growing. <laughs> it's that happy. It's nice and green at this point. Usually because in the summer it gets so hot we will, our grass turns brown. So maybe this year the grass will stay green longer. We'll have to see. Um. Okay, so we are definitely coming to an end with the 100 day project so if you still want to be part of the day 100 giveaway remember to comment on more watch and comment on more than one um, video as well as um, subscribe you have to be subscribed to the channel and oh this one is too short no. there and um, yes so and then what you'll receive in the giveaway is um, an envelope filled with 50 plus finished ephemera pieces that I have made during the 100 day project if you want to see more or less you can go see the day 50 draw what was in that envelope so it's quite a bit and if there's small things like the bows we made or clusters or things like that I will add more than one piece in there of course see this thing is not straight either how is that possible anyway there now they're ready for their policy closures let's see those ones will be, this one will work. No, they are all too short. My goodness, I need to use a different book. And all of that for nothing, that one will work. Anyway, so we are on day 91, so we have nine days left nine days and then I was hoping I'll have time this week to do some tags, make some tags by using Took's new tag kits because she has a couple but I didn't have time for that so we'll do that maybe next week or after the 100 day project 
because now I have a bunch of pockets, but I do not have tags <laughs> or journaling cards or any of that to fill my pockets with. Okay, that will work. Maybe I will only finish the big envelopes because you get the idea how to glue these envelopes in. You do not have to sit and watch me do all of them and maybe we can decorate a couple of them rather than. And yeah, if you like the policy closures, I would suggest making them in advance. It's definitely worth it because you'll be saving some time and I just keep it in a this little container next to my desk and then I can just grab them because if you're doing policy envelopes that's the big part of the envelope is not the envelope itself but it's the policy making the policy closures I think these closures work really well. Oops. I can I'll finish these two by myself. Just want a couple of different designs here. And then I had some music paper for the bigger envelopes because I thought my glue book won't work. Okay. This one do there with the music paper to make some of these bigger ones but I'm pretty sure I had a second page over. Did I use all the music paper? Hmm. Let's see. Sorry, just one second. We'll just use this. Do a blue one.
And then this one, you can double up this way. And again, this is some of my, the pink painted paper, pink paint and coffee dyed papers in my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop is same thing, Mimi's Keepsakes. You can go buy, I've got lots of different papers in there. If you do not like coffee dyeing or don't have room, I know there's, if you're living in an apartment or a condo, you won't have room to coffee dye paper. Or you simply don't want like the mess because it is messy. Then you can buy some from my shop. I love dyeing papers. I don't know what it is, but it's just so much fun. Okay, that might not be straight all the way. Okay, so now the next step is to add the policy closures and maybe I won't do all of them. So. Let's just do a couple of different sizes because I am going to run out of my little circles. We can close some of them with... Oh, I almost don't want to put it on top of that beautiful rose. We'll put it higher up. I do not have any more little circles so these will just close I can do that later you know how to make these now I don't think I need to be doing all of that we'll just pick some of the ones that we finished I didn't even count how many we actually finished there's let me see quickly <laughs> one two three four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We finished eleven. Not all of them have the closures on, but I don't want to keep you here forever. And of course you don't need the policy closures. If you don't like it, you can always just add a sorry silk ribbon like I did with this one. Um, let's see, which one do we want to decorate? Oh my, um, let's maybe do um, I'm sorry, I'm just <laughs> looking around to see what do I have. This is too big. I, here is some Beatrix fodder that I torn out of the book and I do have little ducks here I don't know where I got these ducks but they keep popping up here with everything that I have to decorate with um, I also still oh no that's not it I thought those are one some of those flower fairies we used mm, the other day I can't remember which day These might be a bit big unless I tear them down. But maybe we can use these cute little mice here. Aren't they just the cutest? That's what I like about those little white Beatrix Potter books. The images are nice and small. 
Let me put it here next to the rose, I think. And I have some lace here. I can't make the lace too big. Could have the lace like this, so it looks like it's under that circle. Okay. And then I have oh, green words here. Um, uh, what shall we pick? Um, let's just do sweet. Cutting this out. And of course, you can decorate the inside of the envelope as well. Shall we just do that and not cut off his little tail? Or do we want not to see the tail? Yeah, maybe we'll just do that. I don't know, something about the tail, my tail. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cover the tail. Um, <laughs> they are kind of cute mice, but you don't want to see them actually. Let's put it this way. Especially not in your house or even around your yard. When we moved in here, there was a huge compost heap but it was pretty close to the house and um, so the first time I go in there to go get some compost to plant put in the vegetable garden oh my goodness I opened the container and it was there were mice in there <laughs> so that was the last of the compost I am buying compost thank you because especially so close to the house but I don't even want them but they probably are everywhere I'm just kidding myself anyway I think that's enough on this cute little envelope um, shall we do one more yes let's do one more um, let's do this one and maybe I can um, maybe we won't make a policy envelope this one let's just decorate it and put a ribbon around it shall we do these Tim Holtz people paper dolls over here they're kind of just the right size and I'm wondering if we want to make a small ruffle with this But we need to put it there so it won't interfere if we want to put a bow around it. Okay. Something like that. And let's let's find something to put over top so I don't have to glue everything, but I can't see anything close. That would work. Let's do this one. Let's cut this at an angle. Okay. And let's just do this. And put some glue in there. It's kind of just opening up there.
And again, we did some we did some of these rough paper ruffles. Another thing that's great to have on hand to just add as a decorative piece and why we did you know you're making doing mass making because it's just easy to add this like here on an envelope or a tag and the big part of it's done okay we'll put them on here maybe I'll just cut her head it just looks very pointy <laughs> We'll get rid of the pointy head. It's probably just her toque, but let's do that. And I don't know if I want lace behind her. Maybe not this one, maybe a little smaller. Try not to cover that. <laughs> I like that flower. Maybe something like that. And shall we do another word? Um, Looking for something. I'm not sure. Let's just do like a vintage tag. Like a vintage thingy. Oh, I'm totally distracted. I'm so sorry. But there's somebody with either a very loud motorbike or vehicle, but I think it's more like a chainsaw or something. Ugh, it's just been going on for the past probably half an hour. Don't know what, if there's maybe taking down a big tree because it feels like it's never ending. Yeah, I think it's a chainsaw. I don't know if you can hear it. Anyway, the day 100 nominees, let's go there quickly, is because it looks like my battery is low. The day 100 nominees for today is um, Betty and Barbara. So you all have your names in the description box. And your names will be added to the list. See, this one almost don't even need a closure. Okay, so there's another one decorated. You can definitely add, but I don't have the right color here, um, add a sorry silk or something around it. I think I'm just going to leave it because I don't have, oh, there's a white. Let's just add white quickly. So Betty and Barbara, you are the nominees for today. And uh, we are on day 90, so keep your eyes open for day 100 if you possibly were mentioned or nominated already. Okay, so... That is soon, very, very soon. So here are some of the, decorate, uh, the decorated envelopes, not even all of them, but we made quite a bit, bunch today. And um, thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with Day 92. It's a full sheet fold out journal pullout. So come watch if you're interested, that's a mouthful. And I will see you to, again tomorrow. Bye.